Gary Deegan versus Sean Rinaldi. President accounted for, Your Honor. It says here you have representation. Oh, yeah. Have no fear. Here I am. Sean has been done an injustice, and I won't stand for it. Luckily for him, I am no stranger to the song and dance of the courtroom. For I myself used to be a barrister on the Queen's bench, mainly representing myself for crimes such as soliciting and pornography. But I've mainly defended a lot of hogs and horses. What is this, some kind of Hamilton thing? What? Your Honor, if I may, New York State Statute 82 clearly states that legal counsel's attire cannot be discriminated against. All right, fine. Oh yeah, I googled that this morning when I saw him in that old lady's wig. My only other duty as his de facto paralegal seems to be hauling around his file boxes, which, between you and me, mostly contain pornography. Now, my lords, ladies, and gentlemen, I feel a huge injustice has occurred here today, and it needs addressing. And what's that? Well, this chap has the hair of a paedophile. I've got to be honest, I haven't stepped inside a court for about 300 years. Objection! This is your fourth objection in the last minute, Mr. Cravensworth. Overruled. Objection! What about? Objection. So my techniques and my methods might be a bit old-fashioned. May I approach the bitch? What did you say? I said, may I approach the bench? Ah. What did you think I said? Right, I'm ready to wrap this up. The common man, whether he be Neanderthal, troglodyte, they all deserve their day in court. A slice of a fair system, wouldn't you say? I think I've heard enough, thank you. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $12,700. What's she talking about? We lost. What the fuck?